Today I am talking IP version 4, subnets, and binary. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions and today I am actually really excited about today's video. So as you guys know, I have been studying for the CSENT and I have been using ITPro.TV and using their courses, following along there, and I have been telling you that I will give you pretty much a weekly, bi-weekly progress on how everything is going. So this week, I have been learning IP version 4, a little bit about some subnets, and binary. And that's where really a lot of learning took place, because I really never quite understood binary. And that might be shocking to you, but if you don't know a lot about me, I really was not very good in school. And if you watched one of my videos recently, a couple months ago, you would know why I wasn't very good in school. Um, but binary, really, the way that um, that Don laid, and that's Don Pizzette from IT Pro TV, the way that he laid binary out in a way that you could actually understand it was just like mind blowing to me. So. I was really excited about that. Like I was like literally like geeking out over that. And I was sitting down with my fiance while I was watching this. And I was like, dude, do you see this? Do you, do you, did you listen to this? Like, do you understand this? Cause like, this is amazing right now. And she's like, you are a total nerd, but I was really, really excited about it. So I actually learned a lot from this course so far and even from these two videos. And I'm going to kind of go over, uh, you know, just a couple things from these videos real quick and, we know we'll talk about them, but I was really excited about it. So uh, I'll link to the other videos that I've done so far on the CSENT. And today we'll talk a little bit about the IPv4. So jumping into the video portion of this right now, uh, Don right now is kind of explaining the different classes of IPs right now. And you just kind of see right here from the video, he's kind of explaining the different classes of IPs. And that was really very interesting. And if you don't really know anything about IP ranges and the different classes, he really laid it out in a way that you could definitely understand. And I've said this many, many times before, they really explain things really, really well in a way that you can just really grasp. I don't know what it is about the way that Don explains things, but it's not your normal teaching. It's not your normal, like he is a teacher because essentially he's not, he's not really your typical like professor or teacher. He's literally just this cool guy. Like literally he seems like a really cool guy and I would love to meet him but he explains things in a way like he's just talking to you. He's talking directly to you. He's not speaking to a whole classroom of people. He's talking directly to you. So it feels like he's talking to me when I'm watching these videos. But anyway, like, like right now he's laying out the different classes of um, IP ranges and things like that. And he's just kind of explaining uh, right now, like um, right now he's going to explain like how these, the subnets work. So he's, he's going to, right now he's talking about the, the 10.1.230, uh, dot 195, which is Don's IP. He's talking about the 10.1.230.21, dot 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 which is Ronnie's IP, which is the other host in this video. And then he's talking about the 10.1.231.50 IP. And then, of course, the 10.120.11.34 IP. So from this portion of the video, Don talks a little bit about the different classes of the IPs, which is where the 10 portion is in, in this IP range right here. And then he also goes on to talk about different subnet masks and how just because these IPs are technically part of the same network, they have a different subnet mask. So they may not communicate with each other properly unless you have a different configuration on a switch. So there is lots to be, you know, talked about still with the CSENT. This actually will lead more into a, a CCNA course because there is a little bit more of a complex configuration there. But um, he talks, you know, does go into more detail on the subnet mask. He does go into more detail on the IPv4 and the different classes, what they mean. I, of course, cannot give you a very detailed explanation of the IPv4 uh, classes, exactly what they do, what they mean. 
because I am definitely no professional in the networking aspect of IT. But Don Pazette and Ronnie and a lot of the IT Pro TV guys are definitely professionals when it comes to the networking stuff. And that's why I'm taking the CSENT course on IT Pro TV because uh, all the stuff that I've watched from these guys so far has been very helpful. And like I said, I've learned stuff. Don starts talking about binary and binary to be quite honest with you, has been something that I have never understood. And if you don't know what binary is, it is ones and zeros. That's literally what binary is. Binary literally converts whatever numbers that you guys already have, like an IP address, and it already convert, it'll convert that, like in a switch, for instance, to ones and zeros. And it's basically a way for uh, different networks and protocols and things like that to really break down um, data in a more simple way so it transfers in a way that computers understand it. That's kind of my layman's terms of, you know, breaking that down for you guys. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably already understand that. So, uh, but this is IT career questions. So if you guys didn't know that, that's kind of the layman's terms of doing that. But Don explains it all to you. A lot better than I can so if you have if you want like the really complex this is what binary is watch his watch this video and he will give you the complex version of what binary is what it does and it'll be worth it but anyway he lays out binary for you in a way that you can understand it and I'll kind of go over just like this one little quick portion of it because I don't want to I don't want to give it all away I don't want to do that I don't want to be that guy but he gives, he starts doing this portion of it right here. And this is like my little sneak peek of it. And this is all I want to give away from it because this part right here, the way that he starts explaining this right here blew my mind, literally blew my mind because never in a million years did I think that I would understand binary to this level and really pick up on it. Like now, I can write it down and somebody can give me an IP address and they could say, put this in binary for me. And I would be able to do that based on what Don taught me in this video. That fact alone makes me really happy. Like that is awesome because like I said, I've never understood it before. And now I do because of these guys. So like that just made me really, really excited. And I've talked about this for a couple days already with like some of the people that I work with because I was excited about it. I was genuinely like super excited about it. Um, the thing about binary though is like generally in the workplace, you're not really going to need it. Like it's not really something that you need to know every single day. Literally, you don't need to know it. I've never needed to know binary in my job. For the last 15 or so years of me working in IT, I've never once needed no binary for anything. To pass the CSENT, CCNA, all those courses, you have to know binary. It is literally on the test. So you have to know binary just for that alone to pass those tests. So that's fine. Now you know binary once you watch these videos. So in IPv4 version two, um, that's part two of the videos on IT Pro TV, uh, they go more in depth with binary and they start talking more about subnet masks, which is really, really informative because they start talking about slash eight slash 16 and slash 24. And if you don't know what that means, you should probably watch the video and find out because again, I don't want to give away too much detail. Um, but no, uh, those are just really trying to signify uh, which subnet they are using. So if it's like slash eight, they're using like the 255.0.0.0. And if they're using slash 16, they're using 255.255.0.0. And if it's slash 24, it's 255.255.255.0. That's something that you, you might see. So if you see something like on a router, uh, or a switch or something like that, you know, where it's an IP address and it's like slash 24 that you, you know, that they're using the, um, 255.255.255.0 subnet. So that's just something that is really, really informative, really, really useful, really good to know. And again, like I, it, that was something that, um, 
as you're going through some of these videos, as you're learning a lot of this stuff, it, it just starts making more and more sense as you're like really putting it all together. So a lot of these videos, a lot of these courses and stuff that they do, the way that it's all put together, the way that it's all structured so far, and I'm only, you know, a little bit through it so far, it just makes complete sense. I'm learning so much from it and I'm only like a little bit of the way through it. So I'm really excited about it so far. Um, here, another part of the video on um, IPv4 version or part two, Don is kind of talking about how the network traffic goes from your PC through different layers to different routers to finally reach um, the, the router in the actual location that of the server that you're trying to talk to. And then it finally, you know, it hits that actual router and then talks to the server. And then the server sends all the information back through the layers and reverses everything and then finally hits your PC. And that's really informative too. So there's lots of useful information here. And if, if networking is something that you really want to get into, if, if it's something that you really want to learn, I highly suggest, you know, watching some of their videos. I highly suggest, you know, signing up for their free, um, free account and watching some of the free stuff that they have to offer. And if you aren't part of any courses right now, I would get an account because the stuff that they have is worth it. It's literally 110% worth it. And I would not tell you that if I didn't believe it. So if you guys are looking to get certified in CCENT, CCNA, MCSA, MTA, it doesn't really matter. All of their courses so far, the, even the snippets that I've watched, the people that I've talked to who have signed up for this, they have said nothing but amazing things. I don't think, I honestly have not talked to one person who has said one bad thing about these guys. And I truthfully have not found one bad thing about these guys either. So um, that's kind of it for this video. I know it's probably going to be running a little bit long, but um, I really... I really was excited about this one because I was in bed watching the video the other day and I was getting excited and my fiance was literally like, you need to calm down. Like you literally, like Zach, you need to calm down. And I was like, I can, like, this is really, really cool. And she's like, you, you're, dude, you're ridiculous. I was like, I, I know, but I can't help it. I, I literally can't help it. So that's that's today's video on uh, the CSENT. That's my progress so far. I'm, I'm geeking out <laughs> over IPv4 and subnets and binary. So as you can tell, I'm a total nerd, but I enjoy this stuff. It's it's really, really exciting for me to learn something, uh, especially stuff that like I've always wanted to learn more of and just never really had the opportunity. And it's really nice to be able to learn something and have really valuable uh, tools and people who actually can teach you that information like really well. So, um, if you guys want to sign up for it pro TV, use the coupon code ITCQ 30 and you guys can get 30% off of your subscription or you guys can sign up for a free account. But again, use the coupon code ITC ITCQ 30 and you get you 30% off your subscription. I highly suggest it. Again, I would not tell you that if I did not truly honestly feel like it was worth it. And I hope you can tell by my sincerity, my genuineness, and I'll even bring my fiance in on a video and you can ask her and she'll tell you that I'm a total nerd and I totally nerded out over this video or this, these last two videos. She was, she was mad at me that night because I wouldn't stop geeking out over it. So anyway, that was, uh, that's today's video. If you guys have any comments, questions, or anything, go ahead and leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, stay tuned in a couple weeks or a week or so for um, my progress on uh, the CSENT video then. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always... Take it easy.